I'm going to talk about scheduled flows in Power Automate, and I think these are one of the coolest things that Power Automate has. And the reason is, is because this gives everyone in the organization with a Microsoft 365 subscription the ability to create things that are run at a at a certain time, and they're always going to run. So if you've ever worked in a corporation where you want to try to do something like this and you got to have it be a timer job on a server and maybe you got to, you have to get a server then and then someone has to put that timer job on the server all of that stuff has to be managed you're just you're never going to get it and now everyone in the organization basically has the ability to do this in power automate and it means that you can completely automate certain things that before you would have to run, let's say, locally from your computer. So I think it's uh, a really great feature, and I just want to show you real quick how it works. Um, I'm going to create a flow here, and um, it's this scheduled cloud flow. So I'll go ahead and click that, and then I'm going to call this um, get gift ideas not purchased. So I have a SharePoint list right now with gift ideas. And so what I'm going to do is this flow is going to run, let's say, once a week. And it's going to run on, actually, we're going to say, so you want to repeat this. I'm going to run it once a week on Fridays. Whoops. This flow will run every week on Friday of every week here, okay? And we're going to start it right away at 10 a.m. So what I have here is I have a SharePoint list with gift ideas. And so what my idea here is I'm going to create this scheduled flow. It's going to look to see if the item is purchased. And it's not. if it's not purchased, it's going to send an email to someone that says, hey, this isn't purchased. But... I'm not going to go through all of that here. I just kind of want to show you um, the the recurrence part of it. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll just, I'll go ahead, I'll get that list. So I'm going to do get items. And then I'll go ahead, I'll put in the site. So I got to do the site, the URL of the site. I'm going to do gift ideas. And then I actually, I, I think I will try to create this OData filter. And so the, I'll say purchased, e.g., um, equals no. Let's see if that works. Um, so the cool thing with a scheduled flow is you can just run it anytime because it's not running based on an action somewhere else. You can just run it and see what happens. So I just ran this and... It failed. I think there's something wrong with my OData filter. Uh, bad request. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to say, instead I'm going to say, because it's a yes, no, I think I'm going to say false. Let's see if that works. All right, so that worked. Let's see if it brought anything back. Because even though it ran, sometimes it's like, oh, yeah, it was great, but it actually didn't bring the stuff back that you wanted to bring back. So it looks like we definitely got all those list items. Um, you know, this is kind of hard to read, but uh, you can tell there's something there at least. So that's really all. I w I, so, you know, you, you get these items, and then you can do stuff with it. Like, let's say I wanted to send an email. Um, so I can say send email. I 
And then in the body here, I can start pulling stuff out of that get items. And I can put it in the email. Um, so in this particular case, you'd probably want to create a variable to create the body of the email and then put it in the body. I don't want to get into that because that really what I wanted to do here is just show you that you can schedule a flow and then it can run. And I've used this a lot for things like updating project lists. Let's say you get a project list in Excel from another application that they put in a SharePoint folder. You know, every week you can go in that SharePoint folder, pull out that Excel data, and then stick it in a SharePoint list or, or something like that. Or let's say what I was doing here, if you want to do kind of a notification thing, let's say you have projects that are overdue, you can run it once a week and pull out projects that are overdue, send it to management. So there's just all kinds of awesome things you can do with this recurrence. And since this is available to people in your org with, with this subscription, I just feel like um, you can get a, a, a ton of great things done here where before you'd have to go and uh, get a server and all this other kind of stuff. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I will talk to you later.